Hey y'all, it's Jason here again from the D2 conferences. This week I had a chance to sit down and talk to Mirce Miladino from Slovenia. His company Rinderi in Ljubljana produces architectural and product visualizations for the Slovenian and the international market. If this is your first time visiting the D2 conferences channel, hit the subscribe button to keep up with all the great content. And please make sure to check out all the older content that we have with well-known and up-and-coming artists in the architecture visualization field. So now on to the video. We'll see you for the next one. Okay, Mirchi, I'm starting the video. Uh, there's no turning back. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you being here today with us uh, and doing this video, this interview. My pleasure. Um, and also appreciate your patience. We had a few technical problems, uh, but we got it worked out. So we're ready to go. Um, so I want to start off and I want you to, uh, I, I think I could do an introduction, but I think it's much better if you do it. So in a couple minutes or less, give me an introduction, background, your name, what you do, uh, where you studied, and so on. Hi, uh, my name is Mircea Mladino. Uh, I come from Ljubljana, Slovenia, um, and I make uh, 3D images. Um, so I think I have this pretty classic um, background story of how it all started. Um, I, I studied architecture yeah. and somewhere along the study, I mean, somewhere in the course of the studies, I figure out that I'm really much more fascinated by the presentational aspect of, of the profession than, than the, well, the, the design process um, on it, it, by itself. Uh, so, yeah, I understand. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, I, I remember like, because you know we, we we played a lot of video games when we were kids yeah and I, I was super fascinated by the fact that I don't know in the first year um, I, I I discovered SketchUp and and I saw that wow you know you can draw a rectangle and you can extrude it and you can have a 3d object and you can pan around it and you can and you can do all sorts of spaces and so on uh, so so I figured out pretty early that you know um, <laughs> this 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 3d thing is is what fascinated me uh, the most, and yeah, I remember, I remember like me and and one or two friends from the faculty wanted to start our own rendering company in in the first uh, year of architecture school, and and it's we we didn't know anything and we sucked and and, and all, you know we were just fascinated by the fact that we can have some cubes and a road and 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 move things around and and we thought we were cool, um, and you know it was a long time ago and and also you know our. Our classmates or the professors maybe found it fascinating, but you know, compared to today's standards, that was really like super banal or simple. Yeah, everybody's been there, I think. You know. Yeah, Anybody yeah, yeah. And what what year was that that you were were starting to play around oh, in three D? I think two thousand five, two thousand six, something like that. Okay. So it's like twelve <laughs> years. I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but uh, yeah. For me, uh, you Same. know, I'm a little bit older than you, so okay. <laughs> uh, I think the first time I was messing around with 3D stuff was uh, 1996 Dude. <laughs> or, something, or 1995. Like um, Tupac was alive so in 96. If, if you think 2005 was rudimentary, <laughs> 2000, nice. 1995 was really rudimentary, but... Uh, um, awesome. So it is amazing when you look at the progress of where we went from yeah. from back then till today. And if you Absolutely. think about even guys who were even starting before me, like there were people even before, and that's I I can't fathom it because it was a completely different world, you know. Yeah. People but use, anyway, yeah. I don't want to get off the topic. I just, no worries, no worries. I just wanted to that because that also I think helps uh, position you know where you are and how old you are and because I think that's important sure. you know these days sure. you're not even one of the young people anymore and in the in the business so I know um, <laughs> uh, not anymore but anyway um, so uh, was there something sorry was there something else you wanted to say about that? Uh, um, well no yeah I think yeah and then in the first year we just decided it's maybe better to study and then um, <laughs> you know somewhere along the lines I figured uh, at, towards the end of the studies that's Damn, I really want to do this more than anything else, and and that's how the whole thing started to uh, materialize. I mean, the whole uh, business or or whatever after it. Yeah, because I wanted to ask that as well. Was there sure point that that point where you uh, decided, you know, like uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know, I and guess uh, consciously to say I, this is what I'm going to do now. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember it clearly. It requires okay. half a minute of a backstory, but Please, so. I <laughs> I think everybody sure. wants to hear it. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, so um, during the course of our studies, we had a set of like, I don't know, 15 professors uh, that were like 70 years 
plus, you know, so like yeah. really old dudes. And, you know, they always look down upon on these, you know, newer media uh, kind of stuff like oh, you, you shouldn't do 3D. You should use, you know, your your pencil and uh, you should sketch uh, to, to design your stuff and so on. And and I don't know, I had like this kind of a, a guilty, how do you say, guilty conscious about, mm-hmm. you know, working um <laughs> in 3D during the course of the studies because it's not appropriate. It's not how you do stuff, you know. It's it's like even though it was much faster and and, and efficient and and so on. Um, but yeah, their reasons were different. So so you know, I kind of felt bad about doing this all the time. And then when I was like in the fifth year, the absolvent, uh, I don't know the English term for this, but but like um, I mean, like your final like your final year. Of yeah, 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 yeah. I went to this. Um, Erasmus um, mm-hmm. practicum, uh, so not not to study abroad, but to work abroad. Um, like and an I found internship, but like in another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I went to Austria actually to Vorarlberg. Um, ah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I I got a chance to work in a really cool uh, young architecture's office. Uh, it's called Albrecht Bereiter, mm-hmm. and they did an ama- they did some amazing stuff. Um, yeah, so so on the first they they were super cool super cool guys, and they asked me like uh, what kind of a uh, what kind of a work I, I would like to be doing, and I said that I already know some three D stuff, and I really don't want to do that. I want to do like classical classical architecture um, design and, and learn more about details and so on. So they gave me a project of uh, drawing uh, some kind of like a wardrobe in the middle of a hall. Uh, so yeah, they were using some some pretty, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, outdated? Was it outdated software? I, I don't know. I, I guess I guess, it, <laughs> I guess it got updates in that time, but the, the work yeah. process was kind of like uh, tedious. You know, you had to yeah. ha- enter like seven operations in order to draw to draw a line. Mm-hmm. It was much like uh, hand drawing, but, you know, just copy to the computer. I think, um, <laughs> well, anyway, technicalities. So uh, in any case, I... Um, I asked them if I can do it in 3D and just export it uh, and import it as a DXF into the software. Mm-hmm. A- and I did it, um, and it was super faster. And then I also modeled uh, the space in, in the whole space in SketchUp, and I placed that object in there. So when the client came the next day, mm-hmm. they saw it in 3D. And, and that had some ben- benefits, um, of course, to the whole process. Um, and, and, you know, on the third day, I already started doing renderings because I couldn't stand the software. Um, <laughs> and and then it just, you know, these guys worked on some really nice projects. Uh, yeah. they, they, they were like really cool architects. So then it was a chance for me to, you know, maybe do some 3D and, and renderings. And, and it, it, I mean, I'm, their architecture is really close to what, what I like. And, and then, you know, I just started doing images. And then along the course of this internship, I just figured that like, okay, the stuff that I'm doing has value. Uh, for them, it has value for their clients. Um, I love doing it. I'm happy when when I get positive feedback from from the yeah. from the wife of the <laughs> investor because she now can imagine how the kitchen is going to look like, and you know we shorten the whole process, like all the things we we take for granted today. But so in the end, they appreciated what you could bring with this 3D. Yeah, 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 the and 3D stuff for them. Exactly, and I and I felt really good about it. Like uh, they saw the value in it. Exactly, exactly, and and I understood that I I have some value to bring to the to the whole process, and and this is then something that was like the opposite of my feelings on the faculty, where you know mm-hmm. you were not allowed to do it or it was kind of like not the right way or or whatever I don't know, um, and then at one point uh, during like after two or three months I, I was just like. Okay, I, I I wanted to do this since the first year. Now is the time to do it. I really want to do it. I don't want to deal with uh, with anything else. And and I just um, bought the domain rinderi.com, which is in fact a really kind of like a stupid company name because it's, no, no, it's. I wanted to ask you what it means. What it means? Sure. Does it mean something or not? Dude, <laughs> it means it literally means render in plural in Slovene. So it's like if I if Renders. I had a pizza. Uh, yeah, renders. Renders.com. Renders. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if if I okay, if I had like hey, that's, if that's available, awesome. <laughs> hey, it was available. It was super awesome. I feel so happy that it was available because I really d- didn't want to have like a generic name, and I ended up with the most generic name. <laughs> but it's the it's easy to Google it up. What do you want? I want some renders. Okay, let's go to renders.com. Yeah, so, but but I don't think it's that bad because you have. It's not. In English, renders.com. Yeah, it's in another language, so uh, most people 
are not going to understand what that means. And so it's, it's a little bit unique in that way. Yeah. Um, and it's, <laughs> and I wanted to, I, I actually, this brings me to another topic that I wanted to ask you about, um, sure. because we've talked about this before at the D2 about how, uh, you see in Slovenia, I mean, I, Slovenia is a small country. We're talking, what is it? 3 million people, 2 million, man, 2 million people. So yeah. it's smaller than I thought, <laughs> even it's smaller. smaller. Um, and I know this from Austria because Austria is only 8 million and only there is a, yeah, I mean, but 8 million is also not very big, uh, no, I know, in, I know. In, in the scheme of things. And, um, I've noticed that, that it's not a very, it's not very sustainable, um, for a large market for, uh, you know, 3D visualization. Uh, and we've talked about that before, that's in Slovenia, you get the feeling that it's, there's not this community like what we've tried to build with the D2. And it, you have to, so you've had to go out of, outside of the boundary of Slovenia to get work, I'm yeah. sure, is that correct? Um, not really. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, 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 no. Um, that's great though. I, I mean, I did as well, but like it totally happened organically. Um, okay. So um, the thing is like, uh, yeah, so I bought the domain, I, I finished the internship, I got back in the summer of, I don't know, 05. And I was so, um, I was so like, uh, into the idea that I'm going to do this. I got some grant from the government uh, to, to support young entrepreneurs. And mm -hmm. I had uh, a project, um, I, I had one agreed project already with the with the place where I did my internship, and and that was it, you know. So I was like, no, I'm 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 making a company, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna just you know wing it. I want to do it. I want to try it. I don't want to be sorry when I'm 50 or whatever other cheesy yeah. stories, blah blah blah. So um, I spent I think like half a year uh, building my portfolio, which was basically old faculty projects or some freelance stuff I did for some other offices or something like that. And, and and it was like really hard work, like, I don't know, eight, 12 hours a day of just pimping images because I really wanted to, you know, when I come out, when I when I get published, I really want to be as as uh, as good as possible, you know. So um, I, I had like eight projects selected and the way I started my marketing or something was I just uh, I had a colleague, I had a colleague uh, and he had a list of uh, all the Slovene architectural offices. Yeah. And I just sent a batch email like, "Hey, um, I make images. Um, I post. I, I posted one of the one of those that I like the most. And you know, you can reach me here. And it was a really, really good um, so uh, feedback. Mm -hmm. um, I got like 80 emails in the first day, which was amazing. And uh, and then it just started rolling out from there. I'm okay. I'm really happy and and lucky and feel privileged and everything. And I'm knocking on wood that actually I haven't actively look for for work since then it just kind of started rolling i mean it was not like it took some time to to build you know yeah. things and everything but um I, I was just um i was very careful with what i posted on the social media i really mm -hmm. pimped my posts and <laughs> i mean i just tried to try to be actively involved in social media and, and present myself through that and i was really really lucky that the guys uh, that um Developed the software uh, that I use, Maxwell Render. They also recognized um, me and they gave, I mean, I got their certificate, mm -hmm. expert certificate, something like that. And they promoted me on their socials as well. And I also got some, some work from there. And I'm really happy that I have a lot of good friends that also some of them started working abroad. Um, and you know, in in foreign architectural offices. Yeah, yeah, that's important. Yeah. That's that's to the keep classic those connections. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 that's super important. It's I think really this important. was a, this was a topic with a few of the other talks, or some people mentioned it already. But it's the most important thing is to have like good relations with your with with your well friends first of all, and then uh, you know clients when you have them it and is, so on. And, and it just started rolling. It know, is so. so important and it's something that, I mean, I know I'm interviewing you, but I've got a yeah, little yeah. tip here for people, no, uh, for, for people out there watching this, um, yeah. that every person that you have possibly met or know in your life, yeah. it, you never know what can come from that person in, regarding something that could help you out later on or whatever you should leave all options open and have exactly. good relationships with people and keep up with people. It's very exactly. important. And exactly. I'm not, and I'm not, uh, I don't want it to sound like, um, 
uh, it, it's not an egotistical thing where I want, I'm just waiting for, you know, to pounce and get something out of someone. No, I just no, mean no, no. that uh, those things can't happen if you don't have a relationship, a continued relationship with people. It's exactly what I was trying to say, you know, it's like just, just be good with everybody and, and, you know, stuff turns out. I mean, I, I'm really happy I have an office in, in a co-working place in, in the center of the city. And just for the fact that I'm here, I, I got a few projects because, yeah. you know, people come by, they say, hi, ooh, what do you do? I introduce myself and, and then, you know, maybe like a few months later, you know, somebody recommends you to somebody and so on. It's just... Oh, um, this is such a good point as well. You have to yeah. make yourself, you have to put yourself in the right places and positions to get those kind of things. And being in the place that you are, I've been there before, I've seen it, it's a really cool place. Um, but being in a place like that is super helpful. Like yeah. if, you, if you were sitting at home, in a home office, you're not going to make it. Of course, you would have I mean, no, no collaboration or anything yeah. with other people. I mean, especially maybe when if you, you have working, an architect in your own building. Especially when you were working on your own. Uh, I know you now have someone working with you, right? Yeah, 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 Matei. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna show him. <laughs> let's 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 meet him. <laughs> let's meet Matei. Matei. Hi there. Hi guys. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't know if you hear me. Just saying hello. Just saying hello. <laughs> okay, so we've met everybody in the oh. office. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. And there's uh, Maria Gonzalez oh, over yeah. there in the and corner. Also, she's in one of the pictures I posted one time when I visited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's our uh, administrator. <laughs> I want to go back to something that you were talking about just a moment ago. Um, you're using SketchUp and Maxwell. Yeah. yeah. Now, it's a, a little bit unusual mm -hmm. uh, for in our industry, in the ArcViz industry. Um, and what are the challenges you have there? Have you thought about changing even? Switching software? Yeah, it's, I mean, of course, it's, it's this constant pressure like, uh, yeah, V-Ray and Max is the industry standard or Corona is the industry standard or everything is the industry right. standard, but but it's like, uh, yeah, and we talked about this a few times. You know, it's really know, hard yeah. once you have the whole workflow established and all the assets ready and everything. And, and uh, you know, this, I mean, I'm, I'm flirting with other software for the last three or four years. But it's, it's just, at the end, it comes to the fact that no client so far has asked me, like, what software do you use? They just, they just want to see uh, cool, cool products, and, and that's it, and they don't care about it. Maybe not a challenge, but just always like questioning, like what's on the other side. And of course, mm -hmm. you, 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 you. So it's not, it's not like I'm, I work in SketchUp, and, and, and I don't care about anything else. Of course, you pay attention to the development of other stuff, and, and you feel like, uh, okay, maybe this can be done here easier, or so on. But um, maybe something, you know, that. The other guys have easier is like you know if you buy um, assets, they are more or less I guess uh, drag and drop or mm -hmm. plug and play. And here you have to convert some stuff and and uh, like uh, redo the materials and so on. But I want to point out that I'm not using. I mean, yeah. First of all, you'd be amazed at the amount of cool plugins and and stuff there is uh, in SketchUp that can e make your work much easier. Um, cause well, it supports the Ruby programming language and yeah. it has a whole bunch of like uh, plugin developers for it. And yeah, I wanted to mention that because I, I actually, uh, there's another guy, David Brufau, oh, yeah, yeah. Spanish guy, I know him. Yeah. who he posts a lot of like his experiments and things he's doing. And he also posts a lot about the plugins using it. And I was actually amazed yeah, at what yeah. he's able to do. Um, exactly. so I think that while SketchUp is not uh, used a lot by ArcVis people that it is actually has a, has been developed over the last years to be a tool which is not what we what people think you know when they yeah. think sketchup they think this simple tool that architects can use to just build Push but it's pull. actually has it seemed to be developed much further since yeah. that time and Absolutely. i think uh, you know those are the things that you have to take into account um, of course and, I, and and if you can make it if you can work make the software work for you then yeah, yeah, you yeah. You should yeah. not change. You should keep I mean, going. <laughs> I, I really don't want to be this advocate for, for SketchUp or for any other software or so on. Yeah, but it's just, it just, you know, if, if there's, it's it, the, a really cool thing about it is like if you have an issue, you can just go into the plugin store and you can find someone who already had that issue and wrote a plugin for it mm -hmm. and you can just continue. And 
Yeah, I, I want to point out that I'm not using only only SketchUp. Like I don't do stuff only in there in terms of um, Maxwell has a really cool system where you can um, where you can import geometry into Maxwell Studio, which is like a standalone um, right. geometry, not not geometry editor, but you can edit the materials there there mm -hmm. and, and and so on. So they they had the system of of importing proxies into SketchUp for ages now. So basically, all of the heavier geometries is just proxies, like you would do in any other software. Um, in terms of why this combo, uh, when when I was still in the faculty, I, I you know SketchUp was the easiest thing to do. Uh, I mean, to to start with, I, I got uh, scared of Max, for example, when I opened it for the first mm -hmm. time. And but the thing is, like you know, for the stuff that we did at the faculty, SketchUp sufficed. It was enough. It was just okay. I didn't want to bother with anything else. And when I was testing render engines, I I really loved Maxwell because it gave the same output as it does basically today. It's it's really like realistic and you know the difference between um, the software and, and the other stuff was also noticeable back then but in terms of like here um, you can just uh, like set up your scene and you know what you're gonna get there's no like uh, I don't know what the settings are like different bounces or engines and splotches and blotches and yeah. stuff like that you know and, and here it was just like coming out of a camera of course it was a bit slower because it took into consideration like everything um, and um, and yeah, I really love the output that came out of it naturally. So it, it gave me more of a feel <laughs> that okay, now I'm the digital photographer. I'm the photographer in the digital space more than just like a guy who has to fiddle with a bunch of settings for each scenario, like interior, exterior, uh, this kind of thing, this kind of thing. And and here it was super simple. Like you would like take a shot with a camera, mm -hmm. and they had. Um, like this interactive preview engine um, for Maxwell like ages ago which was super super useful for me back then uh, I mean still is and a function called multi-light which enabled you uh, that right. you, know, you can you can tweak the lights um, just I mean you do a one rendering and then you can tweak the lights and do infinite um, versions of yeah. uh, which has now scenario. been implemented in other rendering also, engines. Yeah. Also, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, it was the first one, but now... Exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's the thing, you know, all of these softwares are, you know, getting everything. It's, it's basically, you know, they're all go becoming so good. But, yeah. but back then, I, I figured that this is just the most simple and efficient thing for me to do. And I, I, I thought to myself, like, okay, instead of investing time to, to tweak... Uh, to learn how to tweak all of these settings and so on, I'm just gonna buy a few more computers and I'm gonna, you know, deal with the content instead of the tweakery. Um, so that was that was like my my <laughs> mentality. Um, right. And then it just stuck with me. And and now you know we we've got loads of work all the time and and it's really hard to start learning something new. Like uh, <laughs> yeah. every every New Year resolution for me is like, okay, this year I'm going to learn cinema and this year I'm going to learn Blender and something. And and it's crazy. Like, you know, for the first two weeks it works and then you're just flooded with stuff and you have to take care of um, yeah. things and then there's no time. And I know this is a lousy excuse. Of course you can do it. And I'm, I mean, I want to. But uh, for example, last year <laughs> I wanted to do this experiment, of course, because, you know, dailies are popular. But I said, okay, I don't have time to do dailies. Maybe I'll try to do weeklies. So uh, my New Year's resolution for last year was um, I'm going to do 50 images this year, not 56, because, you know, maybe sometime I'm going to be six or, or sick or something. You need to take vacation. <laughs> yeah, you need to take vacation. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to do 50 weeklies. Um, and I made two. You know, so. <laughs> you need to do monthlies. <laughs> I need to do monthlies. The problem is you'll do them on the last day of every month. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> this um. is a this is a problem. <laughs> I think it's one of those things where you you will need to uh, hey it's a homecoming. <laughs> um Yulin, our intern from Spain, just came okay. to say hi and we we I think we generally as people we have to be extremely hard on ourselves to hold schedules. You know, if we if we want to have something and get something done. You have to really be hard, hardcore, you know, and I and yeah. I find it also extremely difficult to do. I have all kinds of plans and things I want to do. Promise myself I'm going to do them, uh, yep. but you have to set those things and and then do it. And um, yeah. I think and it's, but it, you know, it's like you said, you your 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 work is sometimes taking precedence, and that and that sometimes is uh, 
that the way it has to be. Yeah, and it's it's you know, I spend a bunch of time here in the office, and then of course you have to take care of stuff at home and be with your right. lady, and you know, it's just I don't know. I I really didn't want to to stare at computers. The, the whole part of the day that I'm awake. And I know there's no excuses and that I respect a lot of people who do this. I'm just not one of those guys, I, I guess. Um, That's fine. But, you, should, uh, you, you should do what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Life, I so. gave it a try. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's just, I just, then I'm stuck with a lot of bad conscience. Uh, so I wanted to ask you, uh, when you started out, of course, you were by yourself. Uh, you have someone working with you now, but at that, at that time, uh, yep. It's one of the difficult things of working by yourself is that you have to handle everything. Um, and uh, how did you go about uh, handling, you know, mentally the pressure that you had to deal with every day? Um, because if you can burn out in those situations, and I just want you to to talk about that for a moment, how you managed, okay. how you managed it. Yeah, I I basically had to learn it along the way. Yeah, I did. I did have like a few burnout. I mean, two or three burnouts where where you know we were just. Um, uh, it, there was just so much work that I put m myself into that, um, uh, yeah, you know, long hours, uh, not mm -hmm. much of sleep and so on. And then after a few days or weeks, it catches up to you and then you're like, you know, this, this, yeah, uh, burned out, uh, yeah. th you're in this burned out state. And, um, I don't know when, whenever there was... I don't know how to answer this actually, because maybe I'm not. Yeah. I, maybe maybe I don't have it figured out already, because I managed to put myself in uh, in these kind of situations quite often. <laughs> okay, um, but that's an important thing. So you're saying you haven't? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> totally. It, you you still end up in this situation. I mean, sometimes. honestly, I try to be a wise guy and offer uh, some uh, like uh, cool tips for someone starting out or something, but. I don't know if I have. I mean, the thing is, like, um, yeah. So, so yeah, I was solo um, for the first three years, and uh, after that, you know, there came this point that you have to realize that you, you know, maybe it's it's really uh, not that bad if you um, can involve someone else that can, you know, take the parts of the process of the image right. making and 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 help you out, and you don't have to. You know, you know this GIF, of course, or GIF, where with the toilet moving like millimeters left yeah, to the right yeah. and so on. You don't have to be that guy. You can trust other people, and <laughs> and I'm really happy to have Matei because uh, he's a really awesome guy, and and we we get along super cool. I hope uh, he says yeah. like this. Okay, so that's cool. <laughs> um, and 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 yeah, um, I think that was like my de stressor along the whole process. This was like yeah. one thing that helped me the most. Like just. Um, yeah, like you said, kind of, kind of distributing parts of the process um, and, and, and make it easy on yourself. I want to say, though, that I think that's really important what you say because, uh, you know, there are definitely people out there who wonder, like, am I doing something wrong because I'm stressed out all the time or whatever? And yeah. you don't have to give tips necessarily. That's not what we're looking for. If you, if you say, actually, I still struggle with this problem, that's not bad because it makes other people understand that, it is stressful, and just because you don't, a person doesn't have it figured out, that doesn't mean that other people do. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, so I appreciate that that you know that you're honest about that, and that's actually I think just as important as somebody who might give a tip how to handle it. So, um, but let's move on because I want to uh, I wanted to, to show actually uh, I'm showing on the screen now uh, mm -hmm. some of your work. Oh. Um, just I'm on your website and. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to show a little bit because, um, and I'm going to see if this one image is on there. But I noticed that you do you've done a lot of archvis, but you've also done a lot of product design. It looks yeah, like yeah, yeah. And are this is this mostly Slovenian uh, originating products and and, and archvis? Um, well. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's some projects here. Okay, yeah, there's stuff from Slovenia, and then there's some work I did for offices, uh, or actually, then later on we did for some offices from Denmark and the Netherlands and Switzerland and England. And okay, so you have done some international like products. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, of course, of course. The, the, the cool thing is, is I just I was just on this image and okay, uh, which one is it? Sorry, because I can't the, see it. Of the Villa Savoy. Oh my! Yeah. <laughs> it's the I noticed it's the first image that's on the website like it's like the super old it's um, it, it is yeah. but 
I wanted to tell you because I had a little story about this. I found this image one time, Seriously? I think before I even met you. Okay. And I printed it out and put it, I was working in an architect's office and I put it on the bulletin board in the office. Are you serious? Because, <laughs> because this was what people would do in the office. It was always, if you found kind of funny images or whatever, you'd post them, you just stick them up on the wall. Okay. Uh, and this I put up there and it's still there <laughs> in the guy's office. I've been there recently Are you serious? and it's still there. Um, awesome. But I love the concept. It's a funny thing. You did it for a competition or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was this um, actually Maxwell for SketchUp competition. And uh, ah, okay. it was it was kind of cathartic, cathartic yeah. to do <laughs> because, you know, it's like this um, uh, virgin that you don't do anything to. And I just, uh, I just did everything I was taught not to do in architecture school. So... So I just transformed it into some kind of a new money yeah. um, guy <laughs> all, with no taste. Rich, uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And that was super awesome. I mean, I'm I, I'm like really thinking of why do I still have this on my website? But it has some emotional value. And no, no, uh, it's a, it's a good one because it's also not uh, yeah it's not a commercial serious. work. You need something yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not serious. I think it it shows that you're not uh, a robot, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, this is the kind of personal projects I tried to do last year, but it's just, you know, the good old excuses. I, uh, I, I wanted, another thing that I wanted to ask you about, you, uh, you sound like that you've had plenty of work, um, but is there anything that scares you about uh, the future uh, of what you're doing, or you feel like pretty secure? Like oh, it scares me all the time, of course. It scares you I mean, all the time, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm this, uh, I'm, I mean, I worry about it all the time. Honestly, it's it's like, um, when I got into it, I said like, okay, I mean, maybe maybe I can do this for a few years, but I don't see myself doing this after, I don't know, five years. And and I, I still kind of do it. And, yeah. um, you know, there's this classic freelance uh, worry kind of uh a formula of oh crap what am i going to do in the after two months or something like that and i've been living like that for the last five years i never know what exactly what exactly i'm going to be working on in in yeah, a month yeah, or I two see. or three yeah. which is like a classic concern but i kind of learned to live with it so um yeah. basically yeah i mean the software is getting easier to use mm -hmm. um there's of course like real-time stuff coming up and it's in development and maybe if I return a bit back you know to the beginning of our talk when you said that you started in 96 and you know just think of the technology technological advancements well I didn't start start out let me I wouldn't I didn't ah. start ArcVis in 96 I'm just saying uh -huh. the first time that I experienced working in 3d on a computer okay uh, I was not trying to do visualization at that time it was working as an architect or uh, in architecture school um, okay, but okay. still, it, it's just showing that it's been around a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, the 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 technological advancements are are noticeable, and everything is moving so fast. And every two months, you have a new plugin that makes something easier, and that has, yes. I don't know, it, it's getting easier to do. But I think still, you know, yeah, if 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 you produce good work, and and if you are cool with your clients, if you build relationships, if if you build trust, it's important. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, I mean. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen, but I guess, you know, just just do your stuff yeah. and, and, and you'll see. And do it good. Yeah. Don't, you know. Uh, so there's one more thing I wanted to touch on uh, yeah. and, uh, and give you my appreciation. So at this year's D2, okay. uh, I asked on stage uh, the people who had been to the D2 uh, since the beginning every year. I think there were three people. You were one of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> has been absolutely. there. Uh, every year since we started, since the very first year. And um, so first of all, I wanted to say that's awesome. And I appreciate that. We, we all you. appreciate that, that you have been such a long time fan. A loyal um, fan. And uh, I hope that you uh, have gotten something out of that to be there. You know, that Absolutely. You met a lot of people because um, that's Absolutely. our goal is to, to help people meet each other. Well, and, I mean. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, no. I, I wanted to thank you guys because this was like. Um, so in the first year when I started out, I, I just saw that this conference is going on and, you know, uh, I was super hyped about everything, uh, at the beginning, yeah. I still am, but you know, that was like, yeah, I gotta go here yeah. and you had some really nice speakers. And then for me, it was like, uh, 
because because you know all of a sudden there's not there wasn't much of a community here back then mm -hmm. and and then all of a sudden i was surrounded by people that you know dealt with same issues as me like on a daily basis but i cannot talk to my girlfriend about uv unwrapping <laughs> but i can talk to them and that was that was that was like super awesome and and i enjoyed it and and it was like a mini cg holiday for me for two three days and the whole vibe was super relaxed and awesome and and it was just natural to go every every year because 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 it's amazing and the thing is like you know we we established some good relationship some friendships with with people and and it's awesome and it's really nice to see them every year and in that period of time so Thank you a lot for this. I mean, no, it, it really opened... makes me. It really we. I mean, I I, I want to speak for not just myself, but also Christian and Fabio. That we that's really makes us feel good. You know that people uh, enjoy it so much, and that's what I, we're doing it for. I mean, we're not no, doing this for us. You know, it's. Um, and I think okay, everybody appreciates it. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> no, but everybody appreciates it, and it's just awesome because it's. I mean, no pressure. Every year is better, so you know, but. Um, but uh, yeah, so what I wanted to say is like you also kind of influenced uh, another thing, um, a parallel uh, gathering of some sorts. Like, you know, when, when I was there for the first two years, the, the, the feeling of talking to like minded people was so awesome that I really wanted to recreate this here. Yeah. So, you know, we just got along with some friends and we said, yeah, let's try to have like 3D meetups. And and every once in a while we gather and we have the same situation as, as in Vienna yeah. in terms of like, uh, you know, have some beers, have some burgers and talk about our stuff. And it's super cool for everyone. And it's usually like four or five hours long. And it's, it's, I mean, I just wanted to say that, that we're having so much fun that, you know, we realized it's oh fuck, it's already late. We have to go. Um, <laughs> and, and, and this is in a big way, uh, like, you know, uh, because of you guys, cause, cause you made this, you know, feeling for people. And that's great. I, I, I'm good. I'm glad to hear that. And that's what we want to encourage. Uh, you know, we don't, it doesn't have to be, uh, at the D2, it, it can be anywhere. And that's what we want. We want people to get together. Of course, yeah. we want we want people to get together to D two because we it's we've created no, but, we've tried to create a place to do that. But of course, uh, no, no, no. That's that's still I hope gonna go on for as long as possible. But I mean, to, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no worries, no worries. Yeah, but but it's it's just it's just really nice. Also, the the initiative, you know. Um, I mean, all all of the effort that you guys put in the social media and all of the content uh, that you that you create for you know the field. Is, is is the field in general is is awesome because you know there were there were times when people you know then ask me I mean maybe maybe young guys you know who started out ask me like so how do you approach this or how do you do that or how do you calculate stuff or so on and and there was a few times when I just uh, forwarded them to you got I mean to Fabio's YouTube yeah. channel yeah, you know yeah, with yeah. these because yeah. because it's awesome because it covers everything yeah. that you know it's needs good. to be said and that's super useful for everybody. Um, yeah. No, but thank you. We, we really appreciate that. And I wanted to say also thank you very much for talking to me today. Um, Absolutely. So now First, you're a part of the, you're going to be a part of this uh, content that we're producing. So <laughs> no, I hope you're awesome. excited about I, that. <laughs> I am. I am. Yeah, but once um, again, thanks a lot. Uh, sure, and I hope pleasure. that uh, the people out there are going to go check out your work. And I uh, hope to see you at the D2 this year. Absolutely, man.